I love to work. I just, I love to be busy. I love being around people. I love to make them feel good. Christine Quinn, the celebrity real estate agent, has officially both quit the Oppenheim Group and Selling Sunset after a massive feud that blew the lid off the can for Christine's departure. If you watch the show, you'd know that this has kind of been a long time coming, and her position as the sarcastic, outspoken co-worker at Oppenheim has been dwindling since the end of season three. The majority of her castmates refused to directly engage with her due to past feuds, but it didn't really matter because she's barely on screen. Then the season five finale ended in a major cliffhanger when she didn't show up to a meeting with the bosses over a bribery allegation. Now it's been confirmed that she's been officially exiled from the group for good. It seems she's headed in her own direction though with the goal of being the CEO of her own real estate group with one major twist that could shake up the entire real estate industry. Today we're covering Christine Quinn. Tomorrow though, you decide. Let us know in the comments down below who you think we should cover on the next episode of Where Are They Now? Don't forget to hit that like button so you can stay updated when we post our next video. Let's get into it. Before deciding to get a real estate license and entering into the world of selling Sunset, Christine Quinn was a model. She appeared in Vogue, Marie Claire, and InStyle. She did so for about two years before deciding to find a more stable career and following her passion for architecture and design. She worked to get a real estate license in Los Angeles and from there began working for the Oppenheim Group as a realtor associate. She worked there for seven years before season five aired and has plenty of experience selling homes to the rich and famous. She reportedly makes six figures from commission each time she sells a home and has stated that the Netflix series doesn't fund her lifestyle, but that her actual job does. When she first appeared in Selling Sunset in season one, she became the villain archetype that counters Chriselle with their constant feuding. Christine is very sarcastic and extremely intent on bringing all the drama to the show where she is usually the center of attention and not always in a good way. Apparently, her net worth is around $2 million, and she is an extremely successful real estate agent in her own right. In 2019, Christine and her now husband, Christian Dramontet, got married in an extremely lavish wedding. Her ring reportedly cost $1 million, and her wedding theme was winter wonderland with an evil twist. Her dress is pretty unique and quite stunning. They got married in downtown LA in a beautiful cathedral. A little bit about Christian though, he is an extremely successful businessman in his own right as a software engineer engineer, tech entrepreneur, and investor. He sold his money Foodler to Grubhub in 2016 for $65 million. Foodler was an exceptional company because unlike other multi-million dollar companies, it wasn't backed by investors. He built the entire establishment up by his own bootstraps and sold it for an insane profit. So back to the show. As it went on, Christine became cemented as the villain who would start feuds with other cast members, often to the detriment of them not being willing to speak to her at all. Her one-liners and her out outlandish fashion choices were a huge part of Selling Sunset's popularity. But as the seasons went on, Christine was appearing on the show less and less. It was thought that she may not have wanted to continue appearing as her feuds with her co-workers meant that no one wanted to directly interact with her, which is tough when you're, you know, filming a television show. Eventually, by season four, she appeared maybe a handful of times, but certainly not in any substantial capacity. And then season five hit Netflix and the whole thing really blew up. In the first reunion episode that Selling Sunset has ever hosted, we were told that Christine Quinn couldn't attend the recording due to illness. While she is a loved and hated character on the series, plenty of people were worried about what is to come as she is seen as the driving force of a lot of the excitement the series has seen. In the final few episodes of season five, Christine was accused of giving cash offers to clients as a way to lure their business to her account. The reports were made by Emma Hernan, Christine's replacement. The season five finale episode ends with Christine no showing a meeting with Jason Oppenheim and Mary Fitzgerald to discuss the accusations made by Emma. Christine stands accused of offering one of Emma's clients $5,000 to do business with her rather than continue on with Emma. More recently, Christine's former pal on the Selling Sunset screen, Davina Portrats, has spoken out about the situation. Quote, I was so confused that I was like, what's happening? Why is this happening? Do we have all the information? Because this surely can't be the case. But I wasn't there. I don't know what happened. It's just very sad and heartbreaking to hear that this is even out there. I just am very disappointed and that's really all I can say. It's very low and I wish she wouldn't be caught up in something like that. Davina seemed to miss her former friendship with Christine. 
Throughout the course of season 5, Davina heard about comments Christine was making to the other women about her. Christine seemed to imply that Davina was a people pleaser with no standards of her own. So Davina said, quote, It was honestly heartbreaking and just very disappointing. I really care about her as a person and I know she knows that. So I was kind of shocked to see how she talked about me and I couldn't really believe it. I truly care about Christine. So I'm sitting here trying to defend her actions to people and be sympathetic and empathetic to whatever she's going through. But it's like she doesn't appreciate it. In the end, Davina decided it's every woman for herself in the Oppenheim world. She explained, quote, at some point, I would never hurt anyone, but I have to just say then, stay out of it, because I don't know what's going on. She also added that the rumors about Christine's bribery didn't come up at the brokerage firm for a long time. So when Christine basically decided not to even bother attending the emergency meeting about the bribery, it seemed like the beginning of the end for her time on Selling Sunset. And fans were absolutely right. Although it wasn't mentioned on the television show itself, reportedly Christine left of her own volition because she is a huge proponent of cryptocurrencies and their potential in the real estate business, and Oppenheim outright refused to work with it. Quinn is no longer listed as a real estate agent on the company's website, although her picture is still present in the group photo under the label Our Team. She did confirm outside of the television show that she is leaving the Oppenheim group, and a lot of fans are speculating about what's going to happen to their beloved reality television show. She was the glue that held the show together when it came to intensity and excitement. A lot of fans are worried that this is the end of Selling Sunset if they can't find a replacement as enigmatic as Christine was. That being said, some fans are hoping that Christine Quinn gets her own reality television show now that she very recently revealed that she is opening up her own real estate company called Real Open. The company itself is supposed to bridge the gap between digital assets and physical goods. Using secure, proprietary software, Real Open will allow anyone, anywhere to purchase or sell a home via cryptocurrencies in a time when many brokerages and agents shy away from the process. It's the first company of its kind and has massive potential given the upscale clientele that Christine will deal with. People value their money the more they have it, and so to buy real estate in a fully protected, untraceable cryptocurrency is both a little worrying and extremely profitable. Christine's husband stated, quote, We saw a great market opportunity for cryptocurrency digital asset holders. Cryptocurrency market caps are over $2 trillion right now. Our initial target demographic for real open is crypto whales, commonly defined as someone with $5 million dollars or more in digital assets who holds it without selling in hopes of future profits. Christine also told Forbes, quote, a lot of brokerages are very wary about accepting crypto because they don't understand the inner workings of it. So that's why it's very difficult for agents to do these transactions. A, the brokers don't know anything about crypto and B, don't know how to do it and C, don't understand how reliable and how safe it actually is. The process that Real Open uses is absolutely reliable and foolproof. So obviously this seems like a super profitable business. This model. What do you think about it? Let us know in the comments down below. While you're down there, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel so we can keep making more content just like it. Thank you for watching this episode of Where Are They Now? I've been your host, Sierra. See you guys next time.